Hi, now we are analyzing the problem of CSIR at June 2018 chemical sciences. Just observe the given problem. A compound shows following spectral data. So we have given with HNMR spectral data that is delta value 7.9 doublet J is equal to 8 hedges. J is indicating coupling constant and with two hydrogens and 6.6 doublet j is equal to 8 hedges two hedge uh, two hydrogens and 4.3 quartet j is equal to 6 hedges two hydrogens four broad singlet two hydrogens due to d2o exchangeable and 1.4 triplet j is equal to 6 hedges three hydrogens and we also given with mass spectra uh, spectral data that is m by z 165 137, 120, 92. Okay. By using this HNMR and mass spectral data, we need to find the correct structure from the given options. Okay. Right. Just check HNMR spectral data. Now, we have given with delta value 7.9 with doublet J is equal to 8 hedges, 2 hydrogens and 6.6 .6 doublet J is equal to 8 hedges and 2 hydrogens. Okay, right. By just observing these two delta values, we can analyze that there is the presence of the HNMR active nucleus on the benzene ring. Okay, so we know that the range of 6.5 to 8.5. So this is the range where the HNMR active nucleus are present on the benzene ring. Okay, so that's why here we can conclude that there is a presence of benzene ring. So from the options, four the options are having benzene rings. Okay, right. Next, check the coupling constant here. So we have given with J is equal, J equals to eight hedges. Okay, and in the second one, uh, 6.6 .6 delta value also given with J is equal eight hedges. So we know that from near nearly six to 10 to 12 okay 10 or 12 hedges in between these range if we have the coupling constant that simply indicates presence of the two active hnmr active nuclei which are cis to each other okay right and if the coupling constant or j value is in between 12 to 18 hedges then the two hnmr active nuclei are in anti to each other or simply they are trans to each other okay right and we have given with doublets here so doublet simply indicating that two adjacent protons okay right so that's why there is a possibility of doublets now just check the structures if we see the first two structures in which the benzene is in para substituted structure okay so benzene is having para substituents whereas if we check the third one it is ardo substituted benzene ring and if you check the fourth structure it is meta substituted benzene ring okay right now just apply these uh, two delta values on these structures so if you check the first structure so two doublets are possible here on the benzene ring and if we cut the benzene ring from two para positions so we can get these two uh, carbons with HNMR active nucleus or in similar chemical environment okay so that's why we can get only two doublet values for this para substituted benzene so we have given with two doublet values one is 7.9 and one is 6.9 so that's why here simply we can conclude that the first uh, structure that is para substituted benzene is in the compound okay so from this we can simply eliminate third and fourth structures because we have different uh, groups at our and meta positions and they can exhibit different chemical environment on adjacent uh, protons on the benzene ring so that's why they should they should uh, show different delta values other than these two delta values okay so that's why we can eliminate these two structures now so here is the question that where these two delta values 7.9 and 6.6 uh, uh, .6 should be present on the benzene ring okay so it should be on the it is is it on the right side or is it on the left side that means so here is the presence of 6.6 .6 or 
and here is the presence of 6.6 or 7.9 okay so that can be explained by so just ta taking an example here consider the para substitution here substituent here x as electron withdrawing group and y as electron donating group okay right so we know that whenever electron withdrawing group is present on the particular molecule then the adjacent nmr active protons exhibit higher delta value or down shield sorry down field values okay that means uh, from tms down we can observe the down field effect by the, by the presence of adjacent electron withdrawing groups okay right now we know that if the electron donating groups are present in the molecule then the adjacent um, hnmr active nuclei exhibit smaller delta values that means up field or near to the tms we can observe okay right so just see why these uh, delta value or chemical shift differences are observed by the presence of uh, electron withdrawing and electron donating groups okay so just uh, see here consider here this is an electro uh, hnmr active nuclei so here proton with the nuclear spin half okay and uh, it has it spin the nuclear spin so it revolves around it and it it uh, just uh, makes its own local magnetic field okay so nuclei the hnmr active nuclei uh, just uh, produce local magnetic field now electron revolves around this nuclei okay right whenever this hnmr active nuclei connects with uh, electron with drying group here x okay in that condition electrons are dragged onto the electron with drying group then the electron density around the nucleus decreases right okay Elect whenever electron density uh, dec uh, decreases what happens the nuclear magnetic field that means the local magnetic field which is uh, produced by the nucleus is more okay and that decreases the external magnetic field which is applying on the nuclei okay whenever external magnetic field decreases then the frequency increases whenever frequency increases the delta value increases that means we can observe downfield values okay right because the simple thing is whenever the electrons are moving uh, electron density is moving around the nucleus then the magnetic field of the nucleus is simply shielded okay so uh, here whenever the electron the group is present then the electrons are dragged uh, electron density dragged onto the electron withdrawing group in that condition the nucleus is uh, nuclei become free and its magnetic field effect is more and that decreases external magnetic field and that increases nu zero or simply um, uh, frequency then that leads to higher delta value or down field values okay right now if electron donating group is present then what happens it donates electrons to the nucleus okay in that condition electron density around the nuclei increases that means the magnetic field which is uh, produced by the nuclei is simply shielded by the more electron density due to the uh, adjacent electron donating group okay in that condition the nuclear magnetic field is less affected and hence uh, the external magnetic field is more in that condition delta values decreases and that leads to lower uh, sorry uh, frequency decreases and uh, then the delta values decreases that means simply up field values or uh, up field delta values are observed whenever higher or electron donating groups are present or adjacent to the hnmr active nuclei okay right so this is enough to understand so why so um, the whenever electron with rank group is present the delta values are more and why the delta values are less whenever that send group is electron donating group okay right now just check in the first two structures that means first and second structure are in competition now 
so first two structure first structure is having an h2 group and ester substituents at para positions and the second structure is having amide and other one is ether substituents okay right now so from the given uh, analysis we can simply say d uh, d2o exchangeable so that he that simply indicating the presence of nh2 group okay right and after that so we may get some confusion to check so which is the correct structure so we concluded that the para benzene is present and with nh2 group and one uh, uh, nh2 group is present so e if is it uh, amide or another one so is it ether or is it ester so to check it we need to go for a mass spectral data okay it is very important right so we have given with m by z value is 165 137 120 92 right just check the structure just apply this m by z values on the first option optional structure right so for this the benzene ring which is uh, para substituted simply dash substituted here hence it contributes 76 m by z value okay in general it contributes benzene contributes 78 okay right now nh2 contributes 16 because from nitrogen 14 and from two hydrogens 2 okay m by z value is total 16 next co from the co it is contributing 28 m by z value because from carbon 12 and oxygen 16 next another oxygen it contributes 16 and another ch2 contributes 14 and another ch3 contribute uh, 15 so total 165 so the structure the first structure is having embedded value 165 here embedded indicating mass by charge ratio right and whenever uh, this structure or this compound is heated by 70 electron volt beam okay in that condition it plus one electron and it produces parent molecular ion okay after the formation of parent molecular ion it can splits into daughter ions okay just remember the important point is always the parent molecular ion splits into produce stable daughter ions okay right and if you observe this molecular ion there is a possibility of uh, nourish type 2 like uh, cleavage here and in the first uh, fragmentation it results so ch2 ch2 uh, daughter molecule so neutral daughter molecule and another daughter fragment just if you observe the ch2 ch2 it is having m by z value 28 okay one ch2 uh, 14 another ch2 14 so it's simply 28 now just subtract this 28 m by z value from parental value that is 165 then we can get 137 so just calculate for this you can get 127 for it okay right and after that in the next fragmentation the loss of oh radical and another cation and another daughter fragment so if you see oh contributes 17 m by z value now just subtract it from 137 we get 120 so it gives 120 m by z value okay in the next um, uh, fragmentation it releases co okay and that is neutral uh, fragmentation new uh, fragment and another one cation cationic uh, daughter fragment so if you see carbon uh, co contributes 28 and if we subtract that from 120 we get 92 and just calculate it gets 92 okay so from this spectral analysis we can simply say that so the first structure is a perfect uh, organic structure for the given spectral data okay that means we can get uh, 92 120 137 daughter fragments in the fragmentation of that uh, microion of the first structure okay so that's why the first one is the correct answer for the given problem right and if you uh, if you want to check so just apply the same as uh, fragmentation on the second structure you cannot get okay so you cannot get these fragments with the uh, 137 120 92 so that's why only the first structure is the correct one okay right so if you are interested uh, visit and join on chemmasses data online or download mobile app chemmasses from google play stores so to join on the courses csir net or uh, gate chemistry okay and uh, for the best concepts and best analysis and for all the previous year solved problems as in the part of videos and to get the standard assignments as a, as like csr and gate chemistry and to get succeed from home or 
just by doing job just playing on the mobile or laptop thank you